everybody welcome back to my channel how's it going so today i found this glittery look i know another glittery look i've been really obsessed with glitter a lot lately so i decided to do this one because i feel like the last one it was a little bit more difficult a lot more steps incorporated in it i was going for something that's really bronzy on the eyes and then just a bold lip so this is the look I came up with. It's pretty simple, really easy to do. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. What's up everybody, welcome back. So of course we're just gonna start by priming our lids. I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color tan, and I'm just placing that all over my lids and setting that with Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Then I'm gonna go in with Desert Sands by Makeup Geek, and we're gonna place that in the crease in windshield wiper motions. Nothing too special, pretty easy like I said. Then I'm gonna go in with Tiki Hut, also by Makeup Geek, in the same windshield wiper motions in the crease. Then I'm gonna go in with a clean brush, and I'm just gonna kind of clean up any edges and blend that out. Now I'm just taking the NYX glitter glue and placing, placing that all over the lid everywhere where we want to place the glitter. Then I'm going in with NYX bronze glitter, another one of my favorites. It's just so pretty, like their glitters are so affordable and it's just, it's just great, I love them. And we're just gonna place that all over the lid and we're not gonna go above the lid or anything like that, just right on the lid. Then I'm just gonna line my eyes. I'm not gonna do a wing. Well, I guess this kind of looks like a baby wing, but I'm not doing anything dramatic like at all. We're just going to line our eyes like usual, and I'm using the NYC liner. Then I'm going to go into, I believe this is Bubbly by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in their glow kit, and we're just going to place that in the inner corner. If I'm wrong, I'll place it in the description box down below. And then we're just going to place that on the highest point of our brow bone. Then I'm just going to go in with my Big Shot Mascara. Yo, I've been really liking this, especially for the bottom lashes. Like my top lashes, they don't do too much for, but for my bottom lashes, whoa, they give me lashes for days. And then I'm just going to go in with my Coco Goddess lashes and place those on. These were a new pair, so they were so hard to get on. It was giving me so many issues. Like it literally felt like it took forever for me to get these on. It was so annoying. I love these lashes, but when you get a new pair, ooh, they're a pain to get on. Then we're gonna take a Starbucks break, of course. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my skin using the Maybelline Baby Skin. I've been using this a lot lady, lately. This has been my go-to foundation, not foundation, but primer lately. Then I'm gonna go in with ABH Stick Foundation. I really like this as a foundation. I know some people use it as a contour, but I love it. It's so full coverage. It looks really good. It, it gives you that like no makeup makeup day look, but with giving you coverage. Oh, and kind of funny thing to talk about. This is off subject. So I, as I was filming this, I was filming like a, a different foundation. It was like the Born This Way in the color Mocha. And oh my gosh, it was so orange on me. Like I literally looked like an orange. It was really scary. And I had to wipe it off and then I applied this. <laughs> Just for the heads up, you guys. So I've been doing my makeup for years and sometimes it's still a struggle to find my foundation shade. So if you struggle with that, it's okay. Honestly, it's something that we all kind of struggle with. Now I'm going to go in and buff that out with my Real Techniques Buffer Brush. I really like this brush for this foundation. It buffs it out without taking away any product. Like when I use this foundation, I don't use a beauty blender because I don't want it to soak up any of the product. Then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked, um, what is this, Naked Concealer in the color Medium Neutral. I believe I'll link everything down below I put this on but then I went over it with my Tarte Shape Tape because it just wasn't giving me the coverage that I honestly really wanted after I blended it out with the Beauty Blender which I thought was weird because I used to use this a lot before but then I started using the Shape Tape and I guess that's just a little bit more full coverage than this is so yeah but anyway I love the foundation I mean, not the foundation. I still do love the Urban Decay Concealer. It's still really good.
Then I'm going to go in with the shape tape and this is the same thing I used on my lids to prime it. It's in the color tan so nothing too special and then I dance for some random weird reason. You know we just have to dance in our videos. It's just <laughs> that's just how this goes. But no I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out with a damp beauty blender and you know just go ahead and highlight all the high points and buff everything out because you want it to be blended. Then I'm going to go in with Laura Mercier. And I'm not going to bake, I'm just going to set this under my eye using the Damp Beauty Blender because I find it's easier to pick up product. Then I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my fa face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder everywhere that I didn't set before. But I'm not going to really bake, I'm just going to wipe it all off anyway because I don't let it sit there for long. Since my under eyes have been so dry lately, I don't want any powder sitting there for like more than like three seconds, honestly. Then I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face and I believe I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in N8. Yes, that's what, exactly what I'm using because that's all I ever use, duh. But yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and use to bronze up my face. I really love this color. It's literally like the perfect bronzing color for me. Like, I, it's just perfect. Then I'm going to go in back with Desert Sands just to help open my eyes a little bit. And I'm just going to place that under the uh, on the lash line. And connect that with the outside and then I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face with fix plus because we applied so much powder I need the hydration now I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight using the same color that we used in the inner corner just to add a little pop because you know I'm about that glow life then I'm gonna go in with this Stila liquid lip this is in the color not naughty not I, I really think I'm saying this wrong so I'll leave it in the description box down below but yeah that pretty much sums up this whole look thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye